Hey guys, this is one of Indie coming with a localization video. So this is, I guess, a topic which is causing quite a lot of pain, at least from my side, because there are tons of issues with this kind of thing. But for example, if you just want to use a CSV, which is comma, separ comma separated uh, value. So this is basically a thing from Excel. Then you convert it into a, a little different format and then boom, you can actually read that stuff out. And then of course, if you're just using English, pretty cool stuff because you can just hot swap um, your Excel spreadsheet to somebody who's controlling it and then just want to spell check it. Then this is pretty cool for all the other languages. Yeah, we guess we have to do it a little bit different. So basically what you're seeing on the screen, this is the end result, which is pretty neat. So different kind of languages and then some cool effects, which is Scribble. If you don't know Scribble, link in the description below. And if you don't know how to do well, this kind of stuff. That's the nine slice pizza video I did here. So here once again, boom, basically the same text with the same uh, scribble thingy here for, for the effects and then, well, a different language. So all works pretty neatly. Alrighty, this is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing, hey, why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing. Liking would be actually pretty cool because my videos are not doing so hot the last two months. So like that stuff if you like it actually. Alrighty, so let's go into our thingy here. So first uh, little disclaimer. So if you're doing something like me, which doesn't work by the way, so you just have an Excel or open office calculator or a Google uh, Excel, doesn't really matter. It's basically the same stuff. And then you convert it into CSV. So basically, I don't know, save as and then CSV as a format. Boom, you can actually read that out by Game Maker Studio, which is pretty sweet. So you just have to and say like, hey, cool. Um, this is row zero, column zero, and then this is column one, and then row zero. And then as you can see, then you got some index positions and then you can just say like, hey, read this one out. And for example, if you are a different language, then your columns are just getting, I don't know, one, two, three or four. And this is how you could actually do this. That, that was my idea behind it doesn't work by the way, <laughs> just saying from upfront, because if you convert it into CSVs, a lot of special characters are getting squashed in the process and therefore um, that could have been pretty cool and easy, but it doesn't. So how does that look like? For example, if I open it up, if I open it up, yeah, let's go and do this, blah, 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 come on, come on, and here we go. And then as you can see, yeah, I'm not doing a lot of things correctly because that looks like some gibberish and in the end it is. Alrighty, so if you uh, wanted to have the, let's say, easy solution, which doesn't work, then what I did, I just said like, hey, store that into different kind of uh, variables, which is called, I don't know, grab, grab local file, English, Portuguese, German and whatever, and German or whatever, and then say like load CS V, which is an internal thing of a game maker studio and then you just say like hey how they are called and then of course dot csv where are they located and this is where you have to actually put them so you just go under inc included files and then well, you can open that in the explorer and then boom drag and drop that stuff in there so here easy peasy stuff and then once for example you have that you can actually read them out this is what i did here at the very beginning I thought like this is a good idea, so I just had one variable which is what was just hot swapping depending what kind of um, language I was having and then I was changing the column here and then basically these, this was the index position of let's say the, the row, the column, the row, so, it, so this um, number was always uh, being the same, but of course depending what kind of uh, language I was uh, selecting at the very beginning, bam the column just uh, changed and therefore it was pretty cool. So how was that? Basically, as you can see, uh, a hashtag in this thing because it is a DS grid as far as I know. Yeah, I guess it's a DS grid. This is how you can quickly access them. So uh, row here, um, column one and then um, row one. So basically, which one was that? Uh, start game so it was hot swapping then for example if i say like hey the language was diff different that was russian it was just column two so this is zero zero and then as you can see uh, you could just grab those positions if you like easy peasy stuff 
doesn't work. So how can we do this? Well, one thing what you can do is have a global uh, controller. I just call it object language set or I just call it controller all or whatever. And here you just load in uh, all the information which you're having. So basically for all the things you can have, I don't know, a DS list or DS grid or whatever. You can just do this locally, but you can then have a little issue because let's say you want somebody to spell check, you would have to send them the whole project, which is pretty pointless in my opinion. And therefore, you just got a lot of uh, copying then forth, not very optimal. So what you do, you just do that with any files. If you don't know any files, link in the description below. So this is what I did. Uh, here, uh, here you just have to open an indie, then close, and then I don't know. For example, you write something. This is just for me, so I have it uh, ready. So you can just forget that part. And then, for example, um, depending what kind of language I set, I just say like, "Hey, is it English?" Then I open this indie for the English language. It's Russian. Then I open the Russian language, and so on. So how does uh, one of those indies look like? Very, very quickly. So if, let's say, for example, English, and then boom, of course, this is just one entry. But the great part about this one is that they are all basically the same, but they just have different kind of information on the specific same spots. So you can recycle them um, in this kind of regard. So this is what you do. And then you just, uh, well, what I just did, I just said, okay, get that specific position. Uh, with a specific section to the specific key. Once again, not gonna go into details. Once uh, here, link in description below if you don't know how that works, but it's pretty easy. So you, they just have two kind of values which you can sort it and then well, this is a default value. Don't care about that. And then boom, we read out the string and the string was pretty long and then well, we can just copy it to, it to it into our scribble and then it will work. Uh, once again, you need to have Scribble working. So this is a link in the description below how to set it up. And then of course you need to make your fonts uh, once again, have the ranges for the Russian and all the other stuff. So it reads it out correctly. And this is basically it. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys, but basically uh, I just use Scribble, then the pizza nine slice <laughs> action here. And then, well, I'm just reading out of the inning because I think this part is pretty easy because let's say you want somebody still to uh, spell check. You just go, no, that was not it. That was not it. That was not it. Well, you did I get rid of that? Doesn't really matter. So basically you can just hot swap then the inny to somebody else and then they can read through it. Of course, it doesn't look as neat and convenient as a, uh, well an Excel, but that's the thing. Yeah, I couldn't make it work with that because um, as it seems, it is impossible to do so. And therefore, well, these are your options. So once again, locally into one object, into, I don't know, a DS map or an array or whatever you like. And then boom, you can just uh, toggle through that. Or what I would suggest, and I guess m m most of the tutorials actually do this, they go through any files and then they can just change the any files, which is more convenient. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Hopefully that was not too cryptic and see you around. Have a good one. Wanna be neat.